Renee, Renee! I'm coming, darling. I don't want to be alone. No, darling, no, you're not alone. I'm here, I'm here. I just went to get you a washcloth. Give your face a little. Are you thirsty? Thank you. 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 Th
Yes, well, if you ever touch Max again, let alone press your flabby little lips onto his face, I'm afraid you're going to be in great need of cosmetic oh, surgery. Oh, oh, oh Megan, 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 I, I think spring was just fooling around. Yeah. Uh, Angela, Angela, don't you think we should uh, get this photo shoot moving? <laughs> yes, please. It's been a long day for all of us, so Spring, would you please behave yourself as hard as we all know it is for you to do, dear? Oh, Marion, that was wonderful. It was just like you were talking to your bad daughter when you were on the show. <sighs> oh, please, don't tell me they're still running that storyline of you trying to straighten out that daughter. Yes, I confess, <laughs> Marion. Over the past five years, how many times have you told her not to disappoint you with this? Oh, I know. Probably 62. <laughs> Yes. All right, quickly, ladies. Can we please line up over here? Can we please get this group shot? This will be the cover of the next month's issue, <coughs> the leading divas of daytime. Excuse me, ladies. Sorry. Uh, listen, while you're at it, why don't you take a few of me alone? I mean, just for, for next month when you'll want to. Daisy winner on your cover. Oh, please. Give it a rest, Spring. Okay, okay, hold it right there. Audrey, honey, you have a hammer lock on the newcomer award. Good, good, I like it. Don't move. Spring, I think I have a chance at best newcomer. I mean, I'm taking acting lessons and I changed my hair. Spring, that's really nice of you to say, but I've got to ask you, I mean, why do you think that? Oh, because you're very talented, you deserve it. Plus, you can count on the sympathy vote. Audrey, it'll be a landslide. Wait a minute, I can't leave any evidence. Hell, if my Boston's going, he'll be plenty warm. Oh, I sure feel bad for my brother Pike. Shame he had a father of a murdering polecat like you. Poor sir. If she knew she killed you, she'd never forgive herself. I suppose I should say a few words over you. You sure as hell don't deserve them. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh come in. Who the hell is it? What the hell do you want? Asa, it's me, Court. Oh, Renee sent you up here to help me. She sent me up here to stop you, Asa. You can't do this. Sarah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Darling, he, he was only trying to comfort you. I know. I'm sorry. No, 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 Sarah. I'm the one who's sorry. It's all right. Uh, uh, this, darling, is Sarah Fullerton. She, she's Susan, a, a counselor. Susan. Susan. Yes. Hello, Sarah. Hello. I'm from Victim Services, and I've talked with many women who've been raped. I have some understanding of what you're going through, and I'd like to talk with you, if you're up to it. He grabbed me. I didn't fight him enough. He grabbed me too hard, and I, I, was, I was unprepared. I'm never going to be unprepared again. But, Sarah, he was stronger than you were. He overpowered you. He had me, and then I killed him. I didn't kill him. Renee said I, I didn't kill him. I wanted to kill him. I wanted him dead. He hurt you. He raped me. And I hate him for it. It's okay. It's okay, Sarah. Whatever you feel, whatever you're feeling, it's okay. I feel ashamed. No, darling, please don't feel ashamed. I keep telling you, you don't have to. Yes, I do. I told you I tried to seduce the truth out of Austin. This is all my fault. Everything is my fault. He framed Bo so that he could get to me. No, darling. What Austin wanted was revenge against Asa. He came up north after he got out of prison, and I insisted that, Re that Asa give him a second chance. If anybody's to blame, it's me. No, no, the only one to blame here is, is, is Austin. Now, Renee, you told me that Asa went after that creep. Now, I think it's important that we call the police. No. No police. I don't want the police to know I was raped. I don't want anyone else to know I was raped. Okay, if that's what you want. It's, it's your choice, Sarah. 
Sarah, I came here to give you a medical checkup. I would like to examine you, and then I'll, I'll leave you alone, and you, and you can talk to Susan. No, please. I, I really don't need a doctor. My injuries are on the inside. Um, Sarah, let's, let's talk about those. Let's talk about the shame and the guilt. He said he loved me. He said he wanted me from the minute he met me. Oh, God. He was so mad when he found that tape recorder on me. What he did, that wasn't love. That wasn't desire. No, no, it wasn't. Rape is an act of violence. Oh, my God. Renee, I understand why Sarah didn't want to call the police, but we have to. No police. There is a rapist killer out on the loose out there. You don't know the storage. You just don't know the whole story. Renee, then tell me, what is the whole story? the body we got no choice now wait a minute you just can't take a body bring it out into the middle of nowhere and bury it and forget about it like it never existed the hell i can i'm doing it to protect sarah they're not gonna cut her off to jail hey, they're not gonna put sarah in jail oh bull her pals and will turn the story around she'll end up doing a life sentence wasn't bo's conviction proof enough she shot the man in self-defense do you think carp is gonna buy that she got a confession out of austin he said he framed Bo. She got so mad she pulled up the gun and blew him away wait, wait a minute asa she didn't shoot him because he confessed what he raped her, Asa. Austin, he raped Sarah. You actually saw Austin switch the cylinders? Well, I didn't stick around the whole time, but, uh, yeah. I played lookout in the hotel garage for a bit. Austin took out the original cylinder from Grant's car and replaced it with another one he'd fixed so that the brake fluid would leak out. And he was also wearing a fraternity row cap and a leather jacket that he said were exactly like the ones Bo Buchanan always wears. Really? How'd you get the fingerprints, uh, those fingerprints on the cylinder? Did you witness that too, Doc? No, but Austin told me about it. Seems he'd been doing some work on old man Buchanan's antique car. While the whole family was sitting in the garage oohing and on over it, Austin just casually showed the master cylinder to Bo and he picked it up. That explains those damn fingerprints. We need more information. And you said Austin's motive was revenge. You talk about that in prison? Oh, yeah. You see, without his uncle's testimony, the law couldn't prove that Austin killed that foreman. Austin would have gotten away with the whole thing if it weren't for Asa Buchanan. Oh, yeah. He was always swearing that he'd get even. So when Austin got out of jail, he came north, did a job on Asa to get him to trust him, and then secretly frame Bo for murder. Wait a minute. Why Bo? Well, Herb, you're not saying you don't believe Doc's story. You act like you own this casino. You don't ask for credit. You demand it as if it's your right. Well, I'll ask nicely next time. I got a feeling that ain't it, though, man. I got a feeling you only want gamblers around here. You can count on them. I only want gamblers around here. I know don't cheat. Now, what do you mean by I that? I can't prove it. But I suspect it. If I was cheating, why would I lose every other day, huh? Explain that. Maybe you're playing the game, oh. setting me up for the big one. In the meantime, if you continue to stay here against my wishes, keep in mind, you no longer can play on credit. Hey, man, listen, I'm sorry I had to scream on you like that. What do you say? Hey, man, you know any high rollers who uh, have no cash and no credit? I didn't think so. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Where are you now? Oh, no. Asa, I'm telling you, it's the truth. Sarah told Renee about it right after you left with the body. 
Listen, you bastard, if you aren't dead already, I'll kill you with my own bare hands. I tell you, Cody, it's just hard to believe a Buchanan, even one as worthless as Austin, could rape someone. Now, how can you believe that any man could hate somebody enough to do something like this? It's my fault, Cord. He was using Bo to get to me, because I testified against him years ago. He should never have been out of jail. I should have fired him in the chair. He should have hung him. Hey, no, wait, just settle down and listen to me, all right? Now, Sarah shot him in self-defense, so we don't have to worry about a murder charge. And I know you're trying to protect her, but this is not the way to do it. You telling me not to bury him? That's exactly what I am saying, Ace. You just can't take a body out here, bury it, and forget about it, and forget it ever happened. Cord, you and me and Renee are the only one who knows he's dead. And we all know he deserved it. But Sarah, Sarah's got that big heart. She, she could start regretting this. She, she may feel she should be punished. She, she's liable to take him and put her in jail. Fine. Then we're just going to have to protect her, all right? We're just going to have to put a close circle around her, and we're going to take care of her, all right? But, Ace, you, you can't do this. No. No way, self-defense or not, Sarah will go to trial. Can you imagine what a lawyer is going to do in a rape case? Do you want that? Of course you don't. End of conversation. Now help me finish what I hey, said. So no. Come on, what, what would Bo do about this? He would want the truth to come out. Bo would not want Sarah to go through any more hell. I know him better than you. Now, if you're not going to help me, get the hell off the mountain. Asa, no, I'm not going to let you do this. Come on, give me back that shovel right now. Get it. You can't do it, Asa. Please. Man, we don't have much time. There's a shovel over there, right behind you. All right, Asa, that's good enough. Come on, we gotta get down there by the carpet. State police. I'm Officer Sherman, that's Officer Gentile. Now, who are you, and what the hell are you doing up here at this time of night? Well, we have a right to be here. This is private property. It belongs to the Buchanan family. You're darn right. I'm Ace if you can. It's my grandson, Cord. Nice to see you officers taking an interest in our property. Yeah, sure, Mr. Buchanan. I recognize you now. <laughs> uh, is there a problem? No, no, no. I was uh, I was hiking up here, and I uh, I couldn't get my car started. My wife must have got worried sent Cord after me. Yeah, uh, we got the battery jump started. We're all set. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming up earlier. We could have come up and helped you. Well, thank you anyway. All right. You take care now. Thank you, officer. Oh, that was a close call. No changing our minds now. Oh, wait, just how the hell do you figure that? You just lied to two state troopers. You're going to go to Landview, call the police and pretend you weren't up here? What do you think those boys are going to think when they read the papers? We will be in very serious trouble. It's, it's real hard to understand. Oh, my God. Oh, my fault. You see, I went down to Texas, and I, I wanted Pike to be my friend. And then Austin came up here, and I insisted that he stay. And I keep begging. I kept begging Asa, please, to trust him. And if he was going to hurt someone, why couldn't it have been me? Why did he have to harm that beautiful young woman? <laughs> Renee, Renee, she'll, she'll be all right. Susan is going to take care of her. Now, please, Renee, go on. Tell me, how did you and Asa find out about the shooting? We, uh, uh, we, we heard a gunshot, and, um, and, and we assumed that it was a car backfiring. And then Sarah came into the house, and she was hysterical. She, she said she killed Austin, and after he confessed to framing Bo, and then we went down to the garage, and, and we saw him there, and he looked dead. But he wasn't there. I, I, I brought Sarah right back up here, and, and, and then Asa came back in, in just a few minutes, and, and he said that Austin wasn't dead. Austin had come to, and he'd, he'd jumped up, and he'd slugged Asa, and then he'd run away, and Asa went off to get him in the car. And then, and then it wasn't until then, it wasn't until then that Sarah told me what Austin had done to her. Renee, we are going to have to call the police so they can help Asa find this creep. Honey, I know that makes sense, but... What? Wait a minute. We, we can't call the police. No, we have to find... We have to make sure that Sarah got that confession. Oh, God, I hope she did. Because th then Bo will be off the hook. God, at least some good news will come out of this. Yes, but where is that tape recorder? Oh, my God. Asa must have left it in the, in the garage. Renee? I, I'll be right there, honey. This is very important now. 
Will you please run down to the garage and see if you can find that tape recorder? I will, Renee. I will. Thank you. How are you two doing in here? Oh, just fine. Just telling Susan what a good actor Austin was. I feel like I should have known that he was a phony. It's obvious, Sarah, that that you weren't the only one Austin fooled. I, I can see maybe, maybe in the beginning, being naive to him, but after I suspected that he was the one who was framing Bo. I'm afraid Bo isn't going to want anything to do with me now. Darling, please don't say that. Bo loves you very much. Some men can't deal with this kind of a thing. They can never forget it. They can never forgive. Is this right? Well, this is right? Certain kinds of men. Listen, you yes. can trust me. Bo Buchanan is not one of those kind of men, especially when he finds out what you went through, darling, to get him free from a murder charge. Susan? Men who do this kind of thing, do they, um, do they come back to try it again? Sometimes. Sometimes. But, Sarah, look, I, I don't want to push you. I don't want to put any pressure on you. But the police could protect you. Oh, God. I know. I know. We should tell the police. <laughs> I want Austin to get away with what he did. A part of me feels really ashamed. But a part of me knows damn well that I did not deserve that. And he had no right. No, he didn't. Exactly. I found the tape recorder. Oh, thank God. Let me see it. If Austin's confession is on here, Bo could be freed immediately. Renee, call Rafe. Is Rafe there? I'm expecting him any moment. Oh. Well, Austin... Austin has given us some trouble here. And... What kind of trouble? I mean, uh... Darling, will you tell Rafe to call me the minute he gets in? Oh, yes, all right. Thanks. Bye. We're in business, Herb. Detective Lewis found these in the lockers. Just, li just like Doc said, this is a jacket just like Bo's fraternity row cap. Well, I'll be. Look, Rafe, I just got off the phone with Renee. She uh, says Austin's causing trouble with Buchanan Place. She wouldn't give me the specifics. I'm on my way. I got the warrants. I'm coming with you. So, tape ran out. Well, we got the confession. That's all that matters. Right. And the attack is not on the tape, Sarah. So you don't have to tell anyone what happened if you don't want to. Sarah, do you realize what you've done, darling? You've got the evidence that will free Bo. Oh, thank God. It was a terrible sacrifice, but you're going to have Bo in your life again. If he wants to be in my... That must be the police. I'll get the door.
what's happened here, Renee? Is, is it Austin? Where is he? I don't know where he is, but he confessed to Freeman Bow. Confessed? Yes, yes. Sarah, uh, Sarah, she tricked him into it. He, um, uh, he attacked me and I, I shot him with his own gun. Yeah, before he used it on her or someone else. The entire confession is on this tape, gentlemen. All the evidence you need to open a Bose jail door and let him go free. It's a little dirty, it's too much like a brick. I'm facing it, so that's what it is. Man, this is wrong. This is just, just wrong. Are you back to that again? Hey, so what are you gonna tell Austin's pa, huh? Can you, can you lie to your brother about something like this? I sure as hell can anything to protect Sarah from what passes for laws in this town. What if somebody digs up the body, huh? Oh, Coy, now you're being foolish. Why? It could happen, you know? There's just a remote possibility. If it happens, all right, we pretend we know nothing about it. But it's not going to happen. Austin Buchanan is 10 feet under. He's going to stay there. We've seen the last of Austin Buchanan forever. Now, you done? Almost. Wait. Hey, court, court, some animal be calm. Nobody's watching us. Russell, you darling. Oh, spring, my love. Mm. I thought you'd never get here. Oh, me neither. I had a dreary photo shoot for a soap magazine with the other female Daisy hopefuls. Were you outrageous? Oh. Of course I was. Oh, you would have been so proud of me. I managed to upset everyone, not just Megan Gordon. Oh, sorry I wasn't there. Yeah. I was your trip to Atlantic City. Oh, in your limo? How could it be anything but fabulous? So, what are we doing tonight? Whatever you'd like. After I finish viewing a tape. What's on the tape? Well, you know we have cameras taping all the activities on the gambling floor. This is a segment from last week. There's a particular gambler I hate. His name is Marco Dane, and I'd mm. love to catch him cheating so I can ban him from my casino from good. Mm, he always wins, huh? No, no, he's not stupid. But he always wins when he has to. And lately, he's had a lucky playmate, which me really makes me suspect something's going on. Ah, oh, run it. I'll watch with you. All right. Isn't there any sound? No, Mike's just pick up all the noise from the floor. That woman looks so familiar. You know her name? Afraid not. <gasps> I bet my life on it! You shouldn't say things like that in a casino. Russell! Russell! You remember I told you how Megan Gordon, she has that dual role on Fraternity Row. She plays the nice college girl, Roxanne, and then the, the wild sister, Ruby? Vaguely. Ah, this is the Ruby version. That's Megan in a dark wig. She's in Atlantic City, pretending to be somebody else. And two-timing Max Holden. Oh, Russell, do you have any idea what havoc I can cause Megan now? Oh, thank God you're here. Is that Rave's car on the drive? Yes, Herb's here too. They're both listening to the Austin's tape. All right, tell me what happened. He's already buried, Renee. We had no other choice. Oh, my God. It's for the best, darling, believe me. What did you tell Herb and Rafe? I lied. I, I told him the story you wanted me to. Good. That's our official story till we take our last dying breaths. What about Sarah? She's not telling anyone anything. Luckily, it's not on the tape. Fate stopped that thing from recording right after the confession. So we've got another secret. Let's go in and get this over with. What made you suspicious of Austin, Sarah? It was something he... He said, Cora, did you catch him? I'm afraid not. Why aren't you in bed, Sarah, instead of asking some damn fool questions? Now that you got the tape, Mr. D.A., what else do you need to bring my son out of jail? Hey, so why the hell didn't you call us right away? I just put out an APB on Austin, but we lost two hours now. Obviously, you didn't find him. No, Herb. And it's a damn good thing. Would be arresting me for murder. Look, I, I would really like to go up to bed and take a shower. Could I answer your questions tomorrow, please? What do you think, Herb, in light of the tape? Yes, yes, go ahead. 
Sarah, about the shooting. It's obvious that Austin was about to attack you. It's a clear case of self-defense, hon. Yeah. Right. Sarah, honey, you're a very brave young lady. I thank you what you did for my boy. How badly was Austin hurt, Asa? He couldn't have been too bad. He slugged me real good and hard. I guess he was only grazed. Grazed? I... And they told us that you said he was unconscious. You thought he was dead. Well, yeah, but then... Come on, Herb. The man was shot. Maybe when he fell down, he hit his head on the concrete floor. Who knows? Right. Look, why don't you two get out of here and get your men on Austin's trail, and uh, you go about freeing Bo, and uh, Herb, any time you want to uh, apologize to me for convicting my son, it'd be just uh, fine. Jason, if, if, if this evidence had come out before the trial, I never would have taken the case to court. I understand, but you did take it to court, and you gave my family a lot of grief. Herb, I think you've been DA in this town a little too long. Come next election, the Buchanan money will back another candidate. Listen, while, while this was all going on, we were listening to a friend of Austin's from a Texas Penn. He was telling us that he knew Austin did it. He's after the reward money. How did he know that? He provided the eye drops that helped make Austin temporarily blind. That bum was faking it? Uh, he, he saw, he saw Austin switch the cylinders, and then he gave us the jacket and the cap that Austin was wearing. They made Gabrielle believe it was Bo. Well, uh, excuse me, uh, Rafe, would you please put two of your best men guard in the house? Uh, Sarah's terrified that Austin might come back. Don't you worry, Renee. I'm going to put a whole lot of men out there. Thank you. Take care. Good night, folks. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, indeed, Herbie. Yeah, yeah. real soon. Oh. Asa, darling, are you sure that we did the right thing, Mary and Austin? Yes. Even though Sarah has to live her life in terror, thinking Austin might come back? She will get over it in time. We just have to keep reassuring her. That little gal has seen the last of Austin Buchanan. Austin Buchanan was shot dead. A single bullet fired by Sarah in self-defense. But would a jury believe her? Now, Asa Buchanan hated his nephew, and this hatred would force him into the mistake of his life. To protect Sarah, he figured no evidence, no crime, and good riddance to a bad seed. And everyone knows the dead can't rise from the grave. Unless, of course, they're buried alive. One life to live.